coaches if you would please kind of in the preparation if you can arrive at least 10 minutes early that'll give you some time to set up and kind of get prepared for the session make sure your parents are not inside of the court we want them outside of the court so you can have full attention of the players and we can maximize the space take the goals bring them on to your respective Remember, field first part is this we're going to go through dribbling 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 being able to use the inside of the foot and the outside of the foot and accelerate forward turn and come back in station number two they want to make sure that they're passing and moving keeping their toe up hitting the center of the ball and their plant foot facing the target as we move throughout the season i'll give you a little bit more of the tutorial of what that should look like but biggest thing is this their plant foot their non-kicking foot should be facing the target their knees should be bent their toes should be up which locks their ankle and then they should hit the center of the ball with the center of their foot and they do that they're going to have good mechanics and then once they play it they want to accelerate into the other line trust me this is not going to be amazing at first but over time it will get better and it will, it will all start to make sense. Then we'll wanna work on players, beating players with the inside or the outside of the foot, getting by defenders. How do they control the ball to get by them with speed and being able to finish? And then last but not least, we'll go into 1v1s or 2v2s. Do not do more than 2v2s because of the space. Remember, when you're playing to goal, one team is going to goal, the other will be going to the net. And what you can do, you can put what's called opposing goals, which you can see in the diagram there when the attacking team is going towards the towards a small goal. And then the defending team, if they win it, they're going to be going to two counter goals. And then you should be at the end of practice. Make sure you break down with the cheers. Some of you have really, really cool names. But ultimately, the kids should be having fun. They should learn a little bit. With that, you guys, we'll talk to you soon. Let's go.